crime scene did belong to McNair's girlfriend. However, they're still not calling this a murder-suicide. But tonight, the state medical examiner says that's the most likely scenario. He shares with News Channel 5's Nick Barris some disturbing new details about what really happened the night of the shooting. So what really happened inside Steve McNair's downtown condominium? Investigators found a bloody scene. The former Titans quarterback murdered. His 20-year-old girlfriend, Sahel Kazami, dead. And now new details emerge about how they both died. Steve McNair had four gunshot wounds. Dr. Bruce Levy is the state's chief medical examiner. His office did the autopsies on both bodies. Specifically, Levy found McNair was shot two times in the chest and one time in the right temple from a distance of at least three feet. Then a fourth round was fired into his left temple at point blank. Levy says McNair was likely dead by then. The last shot, perhaps a final act of rage by whoever fired the gun. Did McNair see the attack coming? Whether he was awake or asleep at the time he was, was shot, I'm not sure we'll ever know for sure. As for Kazumi's fatal injury... She had a single um, gunshot wound to the side of her head. And Levy calls this a contact wound. The barrel of the gun was pressed up against her temple, a scenario common to suicide. Clearly, though, could she have done this to herself? Yes, she clearly could have done this to herself, as opposed to, say, Steve McNair, who could not have shot himself four times like that. Metro detectives have yet to classify the shooting a murder-suicide, but Dr. Levy says... It, it certainly appears to be at this point. You know, I think, um, you know, I, I think we're going to have to be convinced that it's not. And, of course, now we know that the gun found at the scene was purchased by Kazumi. It's just a matter now of matching the bullets used in the shooting with that weapon. If a match is made, police will be that much closer to perhaps calling this a murder-suicide, Rory. Any other suspects possibly here? As far as we know, they're not looking. They have questioned her ex-boyfriend and others, but at this point... They say there is no one else on the radar. All right, Nick, thanks. All right, if you are, if you'd like to hear more from Dr. Levy, we're going to put the entire interview for you. We have it there for you on our website, newschannel5.com.